In the dark days after 9-11, then President George Bush went uh, from commander-in-chief to comforter-in-chief. And while you probably don't realize it, in the days after the Fort Hood massacre, Mr. Bush fulfilled a similar role. You see, just a day after the shootings, on Friday evening, quietly, the former president and first lady secretly visited the victims on post at Fort Hood and spent significant time consoling them as well that evening. We understand the Bushes specifically told the post commander they did not want any media coverage of that trip. So, 10 days later or so, this picture might be one of the only you will ever see from that visit. Our next guests were there too. Army Captain Lindsey Delavale and Army Captain Matt Rensbury are both residents at Darnell Army Medical Center at the Post in Fort Hood. Good morning to both of you, and thank you for sharing your picture uh, and your time. We'll start with ladies first. Um, okay. I imagine, at a minimum, Lindsay, it was quite a surprise. Um, I believe the hospital was aware that he was coming. I mean, I wasn't privy to that information. I was there, you know, doing my rounds, and we were about to sign out. I was actually about to get off shift that night. Um, and I was just seeing a patient and turning it over to Captain Rensbury, my colleague at that time. Um, and we were seeing a patient in the ICU when we learned that he was there at that time. Did you get a chance to talk to the former president? And if so, what was your conversation like, Lindsay? Um, we did get a, a, a chance to talk to him briefly. Um, you know, most of it was he was there to see the, the wounded uh, soldier so that we were, you know, didn't have a lot of conversation. We were trying to let him do what he had come to do, but we um, were in a patient's room at the time that he had come in. This wasn't a patient that was there because of the event, but a patient that was a veteran um, that was ill at the time, and he came in and also comforted uh, this patient's wife as well. Captain Rensbury, what was your story that evening? Well, I was I was coming on shift um, and uh, Dr. Dr. Delaval was checking out to me, and um, so we we thought that this patient was a, a critical patient. And we went up to just evaluate him together uh, before before she uh, ended up leaving that evening. And so, it just so happened that we were in the uh, critical care unit at the same time as the uh, ex president came through visiting the soldiers. Did you have a chance to talk with him and the first lady? Um, our our conversation was actually extremely brief. We just said hi and and uh, appreciated his visit with the soldiers. We had we've had quite a few dignitaries come through uh, re in the recent days following the events, and we've we've been very appreciative of all the visitors and all the support that we've we've had here, including the the local. Um, local businesses and such. I bet. I'm looking at the picture right now. Lindsay, you're right smack dab in the middle. Uh, Matt, you're one tall dude. Yes. Uh, uh, my gosh. <laughs> six foot what? Yeah, I'm six foot seven. <laughs> Holy cow. Um, to both of you, I, I think we have to remember the context for this visit. Uh, the attacks occurred at 1.30 in the afternoon on Thursday, and President Bush and the former First Lady were there on Friday night. Uh, only uh, not even 30 or 32 hours after this massacre took place and just from the two of you and back to the lady uh, w w what did it mean to have them there comforting the wounded uh, and talking to you as you took care of our military personnel I think it was great that they showed their support as well as the entire support we got from the community the nation um, you know, from from anywhere from our from locally to nationwide, we got tremendous support. I bet. So and, we were very appreciative. And, and uh, you know, Matt, he he has been through so much along with the rest of the country, uh, with the war on terror, eight years running, and you you know what he has done and the commitment he has made for members of the U.S. military here and overseas. And um, I guess on a personal level, what did it mean to you, Matt? Well, I was very appreciative of, of the visit. Um, I, at, in my in my time, you know, we we we've been on the floor. We've been taking care of a, a lot of patients, and you know, our business continued with the the, nor, the 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 sick patients that we always had, in addition to the soldiers. And so, I didn't get a chance to talk to um, a lot of the dignitaries. I, I got to speak to a few, and I was very appreciative that um, that he took the time to uh, say hi to us as well.
I bet. Uh, how's everybody doing on post? You still strong? Army strong? Oh yeah, we're, we're always army strong. We're, um, the post has gotten back to normal, normal functions from my experience. Um, we, we went back to work uh, the next day and um, just that's, that's the way we roll. <laughs> Indeed we you do. We really seem to pull together as a, as a team and, and get through this kind of one step at a time. And, and like Matt said, that, you know, things seem to uh, be back to running, you know, very smoothly as they always have. Hey, that's the way we roll here. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Lindsay. Yeah. Both captains in the Thank U.S. You. Army. Thank you for sharing your story. Mm -hmm. Nicely done. Must have been so comforting for them to see the Imagine. president and yeah. first lady. And of course, it's particularly poignant because it was in President Bush's backyard, this post mm -hmm. there in Texas. So. Uh, the other photo we got, by the way, was sent to us from a viewer earlier today uh, out of Dothan, Alabama. So a hat tip to them. And thank you for sharing that with us Definitely. today. 25 minutes now before we go.